Charles, start approved, expect runway 12. Start approved, expect 12, uniform Charlie Foxtrot. Welcome to the Zare Air YouTube channel. This is a flight from Sentani to Okika from the cockpit with full air traffic control recorded. Please leave me comments if you like my videos. I also like to design t-shirts and apparel. You can see my designs at www.zairdesigns.com or go to the link in the description. I also do custom designs. If you're interested, contact me through the contact page on the Zare Designs website. Ground mode. Runway Romeo Charlie Bravo, complete our taxi. Charlie Bravo, runway one two via taxi we Bravo. One two via Bravo, Charlie Bravo. Put down to ten miles for traffic alerts. Altimeter set. HQ Romeo, hold before Charlie. Traffic be fixed to Charlie. All people, Charlie, say, give way to traffic, is here, man. Victor Bravo landed three power, figures fire, Charlie. Okay, fire, Charlie, fire, Charlie, fire, Bravo. Victor Bravo, Sintani. Go ahead. Victor Bravo, we are stand by your post flight due to FDB, sir. Whiskey Romeo, line up Charlie intersection. Line up Charlie intersection. Whiskey Romeo. Charlie Bravo, line up and with number two sequence on departure. Second for Charlie Bravo, sorry. Charlie Bravo, line up and wait, sequence number 2 for departure, squawk 5065. 5065, line up and wait, Charlie Bravo. Outbound radio 172. Papa, we see Romeo, right and after, clear for takeoff. Right and after, clear for takeoff, we see Romeo. Tower uniform, Charlie Fox, start complete and ready for taxi. Uniform Charlie, Fox Road Runway 12 for your Bravo, Squawk 7276. Squawk 7276 to Bravo for 12, Charlie Fox. Clear left. To Julima, Charlie Foxtrot, Taxi, Sentani, Okika, uh, not PUB. Whiskey Romeo, Airborne 37, contact 125, Digimon, PUB, Selamat Pagi, Pak. Whiskey Romeo, thank you, good day. Pak Pagi. Please, sir. Ada, bisa cek cuaca di Okika, Wangamalo. Ya, Okika, pagi ini cuaca baik sekali, Pak. Oh, baik. Saya belum cek dengan Wang Gimalo, Pak. Oke. Okay. Tentang 
Ini Trigana 7321, selamat pagi. Station calling confirm 7301 or 7321. 7321, sir. 7321, Sentani Tower. Papa Kilo Inki, Sarah Golov, parking stand Romeo 4. Request start clearance to Wamena, level 180, for Philly. Can you hear me? 7321 <laughs> Bravo, Charlie, Foxtrot. All the ignition lights are on. Box set. I idle. It's the tailwheel, the surface to go. Clear left. Clear right. Foxtrot's lined up, ready. Charlie Foxtrot, stand by for departure. Standing by, Charlie Fox. Sometimes we have delays and I don't know why. <laughs> That's the guy ahead that just took off, so okay. he's kind of shows where he's at, and then he's 900 feet higher than us. And that one has the course to our first landing, to Okika. Okika, that's that's where we. That's the yeah, that's where we're gonna stop at for half our load. Charlie Foxtrot, maintain runway heading, clear for takeoff. Clear for takeoff, maintain runway heading, uniform Charlie Foxtrot. Sintani Tower, good morning, pop to the mic, Echo Delta, departure. Mic Echo Delta, 44. Mic Echo Delta, Delta. MAF, requesting engine start, destination Mulia, 242 right to center. 2 POB. 65 knots. Start approved, expect runway 30. Start approved, report ready taxi, Mike Echo Delta. Sentani Swan Pagi, Trigana 2901. Trigana 2901, Sentani Tower. Trigana 2901, Papa Kilo Yinki, Romeo Romeo, jump board into 300, Cherry Sparking, Stem Romeo 8. Pepe start to Serui, 14500, via radial 275, stand by for BAB. 2901, start approved, expect 30. Star Proof Aspect 30, Trigana 2, Nenar 1. Charlie Fox, Nenar 1, Power 2, Contact 1, 2, 5, 3, 5. 
1535 Charlie Fox. Juga na 7321 request taxi. 7321 runway 30 November Papua Eko clearance available. Radar, good morning. Uniform Charlie Fox, right with you through 800 runway heading. Kilo uniform Charlie Fox Road, negative ident, keeping your runway in, Clear 9005, standby normal navigation. Clear to 95, standby for normal now, Charlie Fox. Okay, Buro, selamat pagi, Indonesia 658, descent 11000. Indonesia 658, selamat pagi, identify, pasang level 205, kenting riding Juliet Papa Alpha, descent 9. Our flaps are up, more is available. Papa Alpha, descent 9000, Indonesia 658. Bapak Kilo Uniform, Charlie Fox, Rot, identify, pasang 1500. Continue climb initial 5,000, now fly heading 210 for radial 172, outbound radial to Okika. Initial 5,000, heading 210 to intercept uh, 172, Charlie Fox. Radar Charlie Fox, if able, request uh, direct from here to Okika. Robert Charlie Fox, Road, stand by, continue heading for outbound radial 172. Continue for 172, Charlie Fox. Why do they do that? Mission pump lights are off and up. Pitching gauges are good, bring our power up to 44. Do it to Jalima, Charlie Foxtrot, Baru Barankat, Sentani, Dua Satu Umpat Dua, Tiba Okika Dua Dua Umpat Tiga. Charlie Fox, Bangat Sentani Dua Satu Umpat Dua, Okika Dua Dua Umpat Tiga dengan Anam PUB. Have a nice flight, Pak. God bless you. Terima kasih. Indonesia 658, fly heading uh, zero, sorry, 100, vectoring air now approach 30, continue descent 7000. Fly heading 100, vectoring for hand of runway 30, descent one, uh, 7000, Indonesia 658. Yeah, Bravo, Batik 6180, good morning. Good morning, Batik 6180, identified, passing 105, continue heading Juliet Papa Alpha, vectoring air now approach 30, continue descent 9000. Roger, can you heading? Bisa nara tasan buat six six one eight zero. Wangi malo, awi bon yapil. Peter Whisky Romeo, request steady maintain on radial one eight three, final latitude eight thousand. Kalau kilo Romeo Whisky Romeo, jutu weather confirm. Ah, ada semua. Radial one eight three, eight thousand confirm. One eight three, ma'am. 183,000, that's a pleasure. Thank you. Papa Charlie Fox Road, continue climb 6,000. 6,000, Charlie Fox Road. Charlie Fox Road, continue direct destination. Direct destination 6,000, Charlie Fox Road.
Wakil Victor Victor Sierra E1033 Mouse Contact 119er Decimal 1 119er 1, terima kasih Terima kasih Terima kasih Semua muat, begitu ganti Ganti sudah tahu itu Bagaimana family? Ya jadi sudah tahu barang Sebetulnya mau kita sudah tahu Oke oke baik, terima kasih Selamat pagi family Sorry Ya, apa itu? Bapak, ini ada penumpang cari ke TNT atau Willy Indy, bakal ada penumpang yang kalau hidup pada penyertaan batu Baik, baik, baik Wembut dengan kosa, harus pindah ke channel lain dulu Oke, baik Baik, baik, terima kasih Trigana 731 identified passing 1,900 Continue flying 210, climb initial 6,000 Heading 210, climb initial 6,000, Trigana 731 Charlie Foxtrot level 6,000 Papa Charlie Foxtrot continue climb to 9,500 Continue 9,500 Charlie Foxtrot Trigana 731, initial 6,000, traffic 12 o'clock, 5.5 miles, bring 738, 7,600 passing, descending 7,000. For you, continue heading 210, stand by direct Malio, additional traffic ATR, opposite direction, maintaining 15,000 inbound from Wamena. Covid, heading to range enabled, attitude works, chapter 16. Batik 6180, continue descend 7,000. So it's a dreaming uniform, Charlie. Juliet Taxi, Suntani Borme, Tuju POB. Charlie Juliet Taxi, Suntani Borme, Tuju. Indonesia 658, continue descent 4000. Continue descent 4000, Indonesia 658. Trigana 731, climb 180. Climb 180, Trigana 731. Bawa kilo Romeo Whiskey Romeo to eight miles, minta eight thousand, gantek one one nine or decimal one. Terima kasih selamat bertugas. Selama. Batik six one eight zero, kentinya seven thousand, fly heading one one zero, vector yang nak approach three zero. Seven thousand heading one one zero, batik six one eight zero. Seven three two one. Expect direct Malio after eight miles ahead. Covid after eight miles. Three seven three two one. Indonesia six five eight. Another right heading one two zero. Continue four thousand. One two zero heading. Continue four thousand. Indonesia six five eight. Radar. Good morning, Charlie Alpha. This is the climb through nine hundred. Bawa kilo tengok Charlie Alpha identified passing 1,000 continue normal navigation climb initial to 5,000. 5,000 Charlie Alpha normal.
Baltic Indonesia Sip Fawet, position 4.4 miles, continue left through Sip Toare, clear for Rena Fruit 3-0, repeat established final, leaving Toare. Listen to Toare, clear for Rena Fruit 3-0, call again, leaving Toare point, Indonesia Sip Fawet. Indonesia Sip Fawet, direct Malio, continue claim 1-0. Malia, Kurnia Kelamuan Acera, Trigana 738 Tower. 660 ITT. Good morning, Lighter 798. Lighter 798, good morning, identified, passing 205, continue adding Juliet Papa Alpha, Descent 9000. Continue Juliet Papa Alpha, Descent 9000, Lighter 798. Batik 6180, continue descend 5000. 5000, Batik 6180. So is this your first time on a plane this small? 9000 passing, contact 119. I guess so. Well, actually, I uh, had the experience with Paul. Yeah, Paul. Oh, okay. Uh, but that was a little... A little bit bigger. Yeah, like a twin engine? I guess so. Um, uh, there's like um, less than 20 passengers. Oh, okay. I guess this one is the, <laughs> the smallest. <laughs> Your first time to Indonesia? Hey, yeah. Okay. Did you just get here, or you've been here for a little while? For a kilo, thank you, Charlie Alpha. Continue climb to. Uh, just, just for a week. For One week. Okay. Uh, um, um, bringing um more people who are interested. In, um, oh, okay. Yeah. I'm bringing them. Um, as a vision tree, but um, people are quite interested in this work. Okay. Yeah, well, you should, hopefully you'll have a good sleep tonight in Wangamalo. <laughs> Might be a little hot there. So oh, how long have you been working here? Uh, 10 years now. Yeah, for radar, Papa Kilo Mike, Echo Delta, climbing through 1,100 for 2,000. And before you were working in any, um, I'm from uh, Oregon in America. I flew airplanes in Alaska for a few years. Okay. Oh. And, uh, yeah, flight instructed and... Yeah, I flew about two and a half years in Kodiak, Alaska. Kind of similar to here. Lots of oh, lots of places with uh, you can only get there by boat or by airplane. No roads to a lot of the villages there. So kind of similar. Lots of you know, like see our load back there is full of noodles. <laughs> Buying lots of just basic supplies. continue approach. Continue approach in Indonesia, six five eight. Batik six one eight zero, continue heading, descent two thousand. Four thousand, continue heading, Batik six one eight zero. ALC, Walari. ALC, Walari. Papa Charlie Fox Road, nine thousand five hundred to seven miles, contact one one nine at decimal one. Go to one one nine one. Thanks, uniform Charlie Fox Road. Radar. Good morning, Charlie Farkstrots with you, level 9-5.
Selamat pagi Jayapura, Super Green 250, clear descent 250 by ujung pandang. Green 250 identified, passing level 320, riding Juliet Papa Alpha, factoring for air now approach runway 30, altimeter setting 1009, and descent 11000, change scope number 7472. Aja desain man one thousand change kok seven two seven four seven two sampai. Pak Kilo uniform Charlie Foxtrot identified JPRS yang berisi mit. I inform Charlie Foxtrot estimating terminal six zero at two two one three and arrival Okika two two four two. Four two thank you climb to sorry nine thousand five hundred maintain. Maintain nine five Charlie Foxtrot. Super Green 250, identifying 7472. You're identified on passing level 300, flight Angelet Papa Alpha down to 111. So the first flight of every day we level off and set a set power and then write down all the numbers so you can check the trends of the engine over time. You see, okay. see if things are starting to wear out or gives you an idea. The mechanics like look at it every so often. Not very used to. What's that? I, I'm not very used to very uh, yeah. this kind of electric devices. So <laughs> it seems like a lot. Overwhelming yeah. to me. It yeah. looks like lots of yeah. Once you know what they all do, it's not too complicated. Uh huh. Like um, how long do you have to get trained? Um, by yourself, you have to. Um, like be a pilot or to fly here or would. Uh, like a pilot. Yeah, so like just uh, there's different levels. There's like a private pilot, so that's like the like the minimum flight time requirements, like 40 hours in the states. Oh, okay. But uh, it usually takes people more like 60 or more. And then so there's like minimum flight training requirements, so uh, and then uh, to be able to take the tests, so many hours, and then so many hours doing certain things. So there's like a private license where you can just go fly yourself and friends, but you can't do it for hire. But then there's an instrument rating where you can fly through the clouds oh. uh, under the certain rules oh, okay. and places. And then there's a commercial license. So all that, to go through all that takes, you know, I mean, you could do it in a year, but most people go to like two-year schools or even four-year schools. I heard that um, especially working in Indonesia is uh, the... Requirements are quite high. Uh, they're a little lower than the states as far as your license. So, like in the states, it's normally 250 hours of flight time to get your commercial license. But if you go through like a school that has the set program, it can be like two as low as 220 hours, 230, depending on the school's approved program. But here, it's like they got commercial guys that with under 200 hours. Uh, and they don't, yeah, they, it's hard to get, here it's hard to get experience in medium level airplanes because there's not a lot of flight instruction, and there's not a lot of small planes, so you go from a small, even a smaller plane, you know, like a four seat plane, to a Boeing. <laughs> so you're saying, uh, well, I, I don't know about this, so... Um, um, what do you say, this is the easy or the bigger ones are easy? Uh, they're, I mean, everything flies the same. The bigger the airplane, um, the more systems there are to know and more, more procedures as far as all the systems to manage and emergencies and all the things. The more things there are, the more things can break. So you have to be ready to, you know, uh, like a small plane is so simple as far as it doesn't have, you know, uh, like this, like this plane has radar. I can turn on the weather radar Oh, okay. and use that. It'll show it. Probably won't show anything now because there's nothing in front of us. There's a little bit, but it'll show like the harder it rains, the more different colors it shows you how oh, hard the rain okay. is. So this scene, uh, shows the turbulence. Yeah. Well, it, it can give you an idea of where it is. Yeah. Sometimes it doesn't exactly always show you all the turbulence, but it shows you where the heavy rains are, basically, which is turbulent. But so, like, oh, this is just from, different um, radars. Yeah, this is like the miles out, so it's showing a little bit, and you, which makes sense. You see the clouds up there. Oh, okay. In okay. that area, oh. so there's a little bit of rain in there. Auto Charlie, go, taxi one.
So there's just different systems. Um, so yeah, it takes, but actually flying the plane, like the bigger planes are all on autopilot. And so they don't actually hand fly that much. So in some ways, small planes are, would be harder because you're, you don't have the autopilots in most of them. Like this plane has no autopilot. So flying one pilot through the clouds, in the, you get in the radar and you're going through the, it's a lot more of a handful, uh, just hand flying the airplane uh, compared to yeah, the big that, Boeing, you, know. you can still go do the stuff, but there's more systems to manage, but you're not on the controls. You're just turning the buttons and the airplane's going where you want. And then oh, yeah. Oh. Yeah, they fly yeah, it to yeah, land yeah, usually, yeah. but that's it. <laughs> but this plane having the wheel, a tail wheel, is a little more uh, difficult for takeoff and landing than a, the ones with the tail, with the wheels in the front. Uh, this airplane just. It has better performance, and it can get into shorter strips, partly because of that. But uh, it's just a little, little more to do on takeoff and landing. It wants to, it wants to go left and right a lot easier than the ones on the t uh, the wheels on the front. But in the air, they're the same. <laughs> But see here, we're, we're going at 141 knots okay. on the ground speed because we have a little bit of a tailwind. So this is a slower airplane compared to like the caravans and stuff, they go quite a bit faster. Um, I'm not used to the knots. Yeah, so, so knots is, so you're used to kilometers per hour, so it's probably like 200. 200. 200-ish, I'm guessing. Uh, oh. what, what about the maximum speed? Maximum speed. Uh, for this one, it can go up to like 140. Well, it says like up to like 151, uh -huh. but we don't go above 140. And you can see the yellow range. We, oh, okay, and okay. when it's bumpy, we stay down in the green arc here. But when you're descending at full power, you can get it up to 140. It's hard to get it up to the, <laughs> oh, okay. uh -huh. the max speed. If it's really calm, you can go towards that, but. Uh, but yeah, the fastest I've ever been in this plane is like 170 on a descent with a really strong tailwind. <laughs> uh. But yeah, I mean, this is, we got a lot. You know, we could look on here and tell us how many liters we've used since we started. And tell us here our estimated fuel reserve at our arrival. Okay. Uh, uh. That's just for our first leg. And then, like on this, on our we have an app that we use. So here's all our places I'm planning to go. Oh, so when uh. I get back, I'm only going to have 123 liters, which is below our requirement. So like I have some extra gas in the wing pods to add, but oh, in, in there. Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh. So uh, they're just in like jerry cans. Still jerry cans, but I'm probably we have uh, another runways where we drink, take drums of fuel out. So when we're out running around, if we get low, we can stop there and fuel up before we get back to get us back with a good, with a minimum reserve. But today's such a long flight, I might even with the fuel I brought, depending on how it works out, I might have to stop and get fuel there also. Oh, you can at the uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. at the. The airport where we where we stockpile the fuel. The weather, weather. How how about the weather today? Uh, yeah. So we got. This is typical. The place, first place we're going to, called that it was good on the radio this morning. And like Wangamalo down on the south, a lot of times in the early in the morning it get fog, and it'll slowly lift up by the late morning. But I haven't got a report from there yet. But lately, this time of year, it's better. But yeah, we just kind of, we get, well, there's a big satellite picture where you can get an idea of the big rain cells and where they're going. 
But other than that, you just uh, call on the radio to get reports. More and more places have cell phone towers now too, so it's oh, okay. that's handy. Let me try and call Jayapura Info here. Jayapura Info, Public Hilo Uniform, Charlie Foxtrot. From Charlie Foxtrot, you have Ryan to go ahead. Yeah, good morning, Uniform Charlie Foxtrot, Centani to Okika. We're outbound radial 172, level 95, currently 51 from Julia Papa Alpha. Departed at 2142, estimate 602212, arrival Okika 2241. Uh, 6 POB. Radar deployment is under the way. 100 miles. 100 miles. 2231. Roger, the the Charlie Foxtrot established with uh, info. See your return, thanks, Charlie Fox. So we're outside of the radar coverage. So then we go to, so out to like 60 miles usually. They let us out a little early. Or 54 miles out. There's like, you can see the ring there. So that's like the radar coverage. So they they see us on radar, the guy I was talking to. And you can see on here when they it makes a little R right there, it means it's they're they're seeing us on radar. So they see our altitude and our position and they're tracking all the different airplanes and keeping everyone separated. So when they get out here, there's no more radar coverage, so we just go to a common frequency and we the pilots all announce where they're at and where they're going. Oh, okay, okay. And you keep yourself separated from each other. Uh, radio system, um, like, um, if it comes near, you can, but it goes far. Well, the, yeah, the radar, I turned it off back to just the map. But yeah, the radar goes out quite a ways. But it doesn't see through, like when there's rain, it doesn't, if there's a cell in front, it doesn't see the cell behind it necessarily. Oh. So it just kind of depends. If there's a big wall of heavy rain, you kind of pick your way through and you don't know what's on the other side until you get through it. Oh. So sometimes there'll be like red patches and so you go through the green spots or you can divert around while you're in the clouds. Before we had the older planes we flew here, didn't have this, so you, <laughs> We didn't fly IFR in, in there because you just didn't know where the big cells are. But now you can go in and it, and get yourself work yourself around the the heavy the heavy cells or know to turn around if it's too bad. What about these uh, brown ones? The, uh, yeah, so this is sort of showing the higher terrain ahead, oh, but okay. this is really poor. Uh, as far as what's really out there. This, see here, we have a map oh, okay. that we made. Actually, I made that map. So it has like much more accurate terrain. The GPS itself has some terrain warning stuff that's not too bad. But this, this background map on this one is just not very accurate. One two three zero traffic Charlie Foxtrot Centani to Okika. We're outbound radio one seven two at nine five. Currently six zero from Julia Papa Alpha. Estimate arrival Okika two two four one. Yeah, Long Valley is wide open basically and no wind. Uh, you're gonna be open at ninety five miles to work. Uh, okay, thanks. Yeah, about ninety five. It opens up. Full open up. Oh great, thanks. So there's another weather report. There's a pilot that's already through this. So like here, we can only go out like 100 miles in the clouds. Like there's a air, there's a area that we can fly in the clouds, and oh. then there's routes we can fly in the clouds. Um, we're not on a, we're not on a. You can see the routes here on our right and our left. So if we wanted to go farther, we could go over to this route and stay in the clouds until it gets clear because we know it's good there. 
but he was just telling me it clears up at 95 miles. So, so that's good because we can go out to 100 miles in the clouds and, and I have no problem. So we should clear up before we come out of those clouds. But that means it might be in the clouds for a little while if it's still 35 miles away. Do you leave my Charlie Foxtrot a non Pulu Mill? Oh, sorry, wrong one. Thank you. Sibiasa, tapi sekarang sudah terbuka. Do you leave my Charlie Foxtrot a non Pulu Mill? Fox non Pulu Mill. Charlie Fox. Pesawat sudah terbuka. Ya, semua arah lembat sudah terbuka, Pak. Pesawat juga sudah terbuka. Ada kapot putih yang tutup langsung begitu, tapi sudah terbuka. Buka di mana? Baca, betul. Ah, bagaimana ibu? Itu laporan cuaca jujur. Ya, benar sekali. Laporan cuaca jujur ini. Oke, cuaca sudah terbuka. Yeah. Yeah, so flying in the clouds, you have to follow the instruments. Sometimes it feels like you're turning when you're not. So you. So you were uh, handling with this. Yeah. Okay. So this shows us like our airplane if we're turning or not. Uh, okay. A uh, little bump. Turn that radar back on. Yeah, feel my body. Oh yeah. Que dua, dulu, que dua. I want to stay off to the left a little bit. Uh, this seems familiar. Uh, you see the weather reports? They yeah, yeah, kind of, yeah, similar to uh, on the news, yeah. Uh, let's go off like a few degrees here. Julima, Charlie Foxtrot. Fox. Sudah tinggal dari Wangamalo. Alikini Kanto, Hotel Charlie Gold, Landing Womena. Hotel Charlie Gold, Landing Womena. Charlie Gold. Tidak terlalu jelas, Pak. Yang saya dengar mereka bilang cuaca baik, Pak. Oke, terima kasih. Maaf, Pak. Itu Abimban. Wangamalo saya tidak tahu mau hubungi siapa. Oke. Okay, ke Charlie Fox, saya akan tiba 25 minit lagi. Baik, cuaca oke ke, tiga hari berturut-turut, tidak hujan, musim kemarau, gulung kelihatan, sementara angin teduh lapangan, kering pesawat bisa masuk. Oke, makasih. Baik, buatan apa ke oke ke, kak? Sekali lagi. Saya oke, Lorek. Ya ya si belorik. Ya ya si apa? Okey kan sekali lagi saya tidak dengar. Ya, muatan apa? Muatan apa yang bawa ke Okiga begitu? Ada satu penumpang dan barang dari Sentani dan itu setengah ada muatan ke Wangamalo juga. Okey baik. Ini penumpang lanjut tersebut ada satu jadi. 
Romeo from Santani to Borme. We are the Ya oke ke Charlie Fox Penumpang Parlis Fox Parlis Kalik Mami Oke sudah kopi Parlis Dia buka ke sana Parlis Dia buka ke sana Now all the airports are calling me for Charlie Fox Parlis They have loading and stuff. Yeah, Phil, Charlie Fox. Selamat pagi, Pak Tony. Cuaca cukup baik. Okay, baik. Terima kasih. Charlie Fox, Valerie. Saya ada siang kalau obat bisa buat dia Phil sentani. Saya ada penumpang sini. Penumpang Yapil Sentani. Betul. Okay. And Okpap. Okpap di mana? Kelihatan ke. Okpap. Katanya ada satu pasien, satu pengantar, ada satu lagi, semua tiga katanya. Okay. Saya rencana ke Oki ke Wangamalo dan ada pasien dari Wimbon, Oxibel. Waktu sana, ya nanti. Siang mungkin bisa bantu, tapi belum tahu karena tidak ada banyak aktor. Ada muatan oksibel ke okwap juga ya? Oksibel. Katanya Pak Mari sudah siap di sana. Siap ke oksibel atau mana? Dari oksibel okwap. Oksibel okwap, okey. Jamin tolong labor. Charlie Fox, 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 Charlie Okay, ada delapan kasih tani. Di dari dari delapan penumpang dari yang mata oksibil. Ada beberapa penumpang yang disebutnya enam untuk kertas. Jabat jabat bapa ubat dari yang mata oksibil. Ada oksibil delapan. Saya tak pasien terap di sini. Teman-teman tunggu. Semua sama, sama waktu tidak bisa dengar. Hang mata ada penumpang ke mana? Sentani atau Oksibel? Sibin dari Hang mata Oksibel ada delapan penumpang. Okay, ya maaf, Hang mata tidak bisa ke Oksibel. Hang mata, Hang mata Oksibel tidak bisa hari ini. Oke, terima kasih. Dari Pogba. Tadi saya bisa lihat ini juga. Agak turun ke bawah sedikit karena tadi di tujuh ribu sepertinya ada awan tutup. Tujuh ribu. Tapi di bawah tujuh ribu tadi kelihatan yang melang mungkin. Okey, terima kasih. Thank you. Hey Andy, Courtney. Okay. Charlie Julia, Charlie Fox. Charlie Julia. Hey Andy, the weather's uh, there's people out in the Long Valley saying it's good at 95 miles. I was getting in a couple cells here at 60 miles, and I'm out at 82 miles, just going around another cell in rain. But I don't know, your route a little bit farther off to the right, so it might be okay. Weather between here and there? Yeah, a little bit weather for me at 60 to 90 miles. Another plane was calling the Long Valley open, and uh, everywhere in the Long Valley is calling open. And he said about 95 miles, that's good. Okay, sounds good, thanks. Yeah. Are you just going Borme back, or do you got running around to do? Caravan from. Yes. 
Are you just doing board main back? Well, if I can pick up some extra loads or something, I will. Um, and then I've got a flight to boat, second flight. Oh, okay. Uh, so if you hear anything, let me know. Yeah, I just, not nothing. Uh, well, Yacht Bill, I think, has some, but I don't know if they're wanting to pay to get over there. Yeah, okay. Anam Kasantani had a patient Tidor. About a patient Tidor, uh, Kasantani. Yeah, betul. Saya dengar begitu. Tapi saya harus cek baik baik dulu. Betul. Okay. Apa ada? Waktu itu saya lelai dari Maksim. Maksim bagaimana Okbab? Okbab itu betul itu ada patient Tidor. Okay. Dari pokok hingga. Okay, Charlie Fox. Bagi pilot, ini ada dua penumpang, dua dewasa sentani. Okay, maaf tidak bisa, karena langsung ke Wangamalo dan sudah akan jemput di kapal lain. Okay, baik. Sebagai laporan pilot. Okay. Charlie Fox, 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 Watch your bike. Okay. Out of Watanka, Oak Bob, yeah? That's Salim, Watanka. Do the thing out of Oak Bob, yeah? Yeah, Oak Bob, Watanka, to go by, yeah, hello. Okay, so I had a, sorry, a Wimbone out of Patient. America out of Malka Oxybill. Tapi Juga out of Sedikit Santani. Mungkin, uh, Bisa ke Oxybel, Okbab, tapi tidak penuh. Waktu saya jemput penumpang itu, saya bisa lapor nanti berapa kilo. So there's lots. Everyone's wanting rides. or different passengers, different places. One place says they have a patient that yeah, yeah, can only lay can down. Oh, so sometimes we, we take lots of patients, and sometimes they're too sick to sit up. So. Looks good now, huh? Yeah, yeah. Wow. So you can see the higher train over there. And then off to the right a little bit. That, that train over there is like 16,000 feet. So, um, oh, you don't know feet. Divide <laughs> <laughs> oh, by three. <laughs> Over 15 or five and a half thousand meters. But Wangamalo's out out that way a little bit, so we'll go after we land up here. We'll go off to the right a little. 
If we were going direct, we would go. We'd go right by that. Oh, okay. Uh, sometimes they even get snow up on that peak. Oh. We want to know how high that was. <laughs> about yeah, about five thousand. About five thousand five hundred. Well, five thousand. What, 400 meters or so. Um, how many times do you fly? In a week, uh, I guess? Uh, it kind of, some weeks are busier than others. Like today, this is the only flight I have. Okay. And like this week, I'm only scheduled to f one more time. But usually a lot more pops up that's not on the schedule. So like, sometimes I'm flying like four days a week and have like two flights most of those days. Some days I only have a couple flights a week. It just, it kind of varies. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like a season, like a season, or the what? Like a season, like yeah, how busy we are, or or where we're going, or how many. If there's lots of other pilots, then like if we're low on pilots, like if a lot of pilots are back home on furlough, on home home assignment or stuff, then. If I remember correctly, there's like uh, eight pilots. Yeah, I think there's eight now. Yeah. yeah. But if they're all, if there's only like four or five, then you're busy flying a lot. But. Yeah, we're just getting a bit of stuff here. Trying to go to Tifaldo a Giri, Tifaldo a Giri. Ah, okay. And uh, to the west, uh, let's see the... But like here, it's, it's, uh, like when I flew in Alaska, I flew like, you know, I averaged like 80, 90 hours a month of flight time. And here it's like 40, 40 or 50 is a good month. So it's a lot less amount than some like, like you would if it was a commercial operation. The nice thing here is we're, you know, being on support. Is we're not driven as much by having to uh, fly as much. I I heard so. that you are training the local people. Yeah, so yeah, I've, I'm the national training coordinator, so helping. So I've helped different Indonesians become pilots and mechanics. So our chief uh, our chief mechanic now he's an Indonesian, so I helped him do some of his training and sending him to school and arranging all that kind of stuff. How many pilots? Other local pilots? We have two Indonesian pilots now. Okay. And one, one that's the chief mechanic. We have some other mechanics that have their Indonesian license, but they, their Indonesian basic license. But yeah. Thank you. Oh, I slowed up in the clouds and I left the power down the hallway. Better for our gas mileage, but we get there slower. <laughs> there we go. Now we don't need the radar. So the other thing I do is I make, I'm, uh, I made all these runway, I updated the style of our runway charts, and then I I keep them updated. So like here it tells us the runway we're going to, what altitude to start at, and land gives you references of, oh, wow. of points. And it shows you like here, this is a angled runway on the mountain. It shows you how steep it is and just all the information that you want to remember for each, each airstrip. So we have like about, well, I mean, in our database on the runway charts, we have like uh, like about 120 or so charts, but we really only go to about 60 airstrips on a somewhat regular basis. Some we go to all really often, and others we maybe only go to once every so many few months. So we have to 
Once a year, we do runway inspections. On, we Once a year, we walk the runways and check them. Okay. And then make reports, if, or even if we notice things with before that, of things that need fixed on the runway. And all the, the local people maintain their different runways. They cut the grass and fix erosion and different things, so. Some runways are taken care of better than others. The one we're going to here today is a really good one. They take really good care of it. And one, two, three, zero, traffic uniform, Charlie Juliet is in County to Bourne, Maine, 560 ME, 900,000. All right. Bring our lights down. Um, Bourne, Maine, two, Low up a little. We can start our descent here. Good morning, cars. Uh, just on my way to Newby here, close to Onya. Uh, I was in the stuff there a bit till about 80 miles, and then it kind of opens up out here. Okay, thanks. And one, two, three, traffic, Charlie Fox, Sintani to Okika. We're now 107 from Sintani. Uh, we're starting our descent out of 95. Estimate arrival, Okika 2243. Sound filter lights are on. Ah, so it's great today. You can see everywhere. Yeah, Sometimes wow. you get out here if there's clouds, you know, and you got a lot more work to get around. And this runway we're going to, Okika, it has like, uh, here's the runway and it has terrain over it. So you gotta kinda come in a little bit oh, at a bank okay. along the terrain. Up behind that first ridge there, down in that, that valley. There's something like the higher ridge here to our left a little bit, just on this side. Huh? So I'm back behind that. But you'll see lots of runways. Sure. And then after there, we'll go, we'll take off and climb out this way and then up and over that way. You'll see there's a lot of runways up in the mountains here. There's no road. Yeah, Bill, Charlie Juliet. Charlie Juliet, to watch a bike, and then Borme, Kami Belum Terima Laporan Lagi. Okay, copy. Okay, Charlie, he passing 8,000, uh, breaking the uh, core. Uh, okay, yeah, for uh, yeah, the... I think about uh, the Papua, I only saw the jungles and okay, the small copy. islands. And yeah. Now I see the old yeah, mountains. It's, oh, yeah, it's, it's a quite... big island, yeah. Okay, copy. Yeah, it's probably as big as Korea, maybe. Yeah. I guess so, yeah. 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 So it's yeah. probably close to the same size. And there you can see that higher, those higher peaks poking up there. One, two, three, seven, Charlie Foxtrot over Hongmata, passing uh, 8,000 uh, inbound for Okika. Here you can see the high terrain oh, okay. on the map. Uh -huh. You can see the different ridges there. You can see our destinations right there between those two high high ridges. Traffic three three eight two five one coming from Sentani to Old Civil with you six six level one three five. Uniform season six four to Melam Melam time a two two four. Two to Jalima uniform Charlie Foxtrot Lima Minu Lagi Okika. Do Jalima, Charlie Fox. Lima Minalagi, Okika, Charlie Fox, right? Fox, Lima 
Just before landing, here's an outside shot of a landing in Okika.
If you like my vids, please hit the like button and leave a comment. Subscribing and hitting the notification bell is appreciated.